What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It is Monday. I hope you guys join us for our live stream tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern. And, um, you know, this is silly season because typically this time of year, all we've been able to talk about is OTA. As we sitting here, I supposed to be the franchise player, and we're in here talking about practice. As we sitting here, just talking about practice. And then we have this lull, and it seems like the Philadelphia Eagles are the gift that is giving to fill up the space that used to be where the Cowboys used to fill it up. And um, I'm, I'm enjoying this because today I wish I were on the Dan Salio show. Now, this morning I was talking about Terrell uh, Edmonds, um, the linebacker for the Eagles, who got chased down by a lady of the evening for not paying his dues. And, of course, we talked about um, Jalen Hurts and the situation that's there. Eagle fans came at me and just like, you don't know what you're talking about. He's like, uh, he wasn't going to make the team anyway, this, that, and the other. And I'm trying to remember that last year that they had a major problem at linebacker like we did. We both looked at the broke down linebacker at the same time. And we said, thanks, no thanks, but you guys signed him. And when I hear the name N'Kobe Dean, who seems to be like a Ferrari that's always broke down and in the shop and such, you, you can't tell me that a linebacker is not a need that you have. But be that as it may, I turned into Dan Salio's show, and I, it, it's just gold. It's just gold. It is fantastic listening to him literally killing the Eagles. Let, let's, I'm going to back it up a little bit here. By the way, oh my hope goodness. all had a fantastic family weekend. I, I'm, I'm enjoying Father's Day, so much. all of that. I hope everyone had themselves a oh, great weekend. Oh, wow. I can't tell the you media how bad I wanted to go on right Friday, now. but we had some technical difficulties at the Big Sill Studios. All rectified. We're <sighs> ready to rock and roll. What an absolute as the Eagles world turns. Oh, drama. But as we Not always my start words. a program off, Big Sills! Holy cow. I just got a little tidbit, too. Let's see here. NFL <laughs> player Terrell Lewis ran away from two... Naked it was one. Wars it was one. Without paying them for their work. Hey, man, I, he probably Don't call picked that up whore. from Howie. You know, I probably got that from Howie. Instagram model. Footage of the escape <laughs> of Lewis running away from two whores. It was only one. <laughs> hey, Instagram model only fans. I get it. Hey, like player, like GM, right? I, I mean, he, he didn't want to pay the whores. <laughs> I get it. Guy didn't want to pay the horse. <laughs> you know, services rendered. Come on, dog. Oh, they're Holy getting killed. shit is their news. I can't this wait to hear Philly 500 spin stuff, this one. Man. I so wanted to be on Friday because of the nightmare that is going on at the Novacare complex. That's like the Ooh. house of horrors now. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> oh all my the God. things that we have been oh, saying to it. you for about five months are true. They may not Everything recover from that is meltdown. True. It's true. Oh, wow. I love it. I'm sorry. Angelo for Cataldi will be with it. us at 5.30 Eastern. Mm. Gary Cobb at 4.30. I got to tune in for Gary Cobb. Xander. From Birds 365 at 3.30 in his customary spot. Holy cow. By I love the way, it. Love it. please, as we always do each and every single wait, day, wait, we wait, ask wait till you he gets for to 200 hurts. likes. Wait till he gets to hurts here for a second. As the show continues oh, to grow. I love it. Hey, you guys know this. Holy cow. You know people today want to know what Big Sills' take is. And oh, all of Big your Sills. takes. <laughs> On what's been happening the last couple days over there between Jalen Hurts, Jeffrey Laurie. Listen to this. Howie Roseman and the team. Mm. Let's just do a little They're bit of not a happy with anybody. They're not happy with Big Sills. They're not the happy with Hurts. From the last couple days. They're not happy with the 12 coach. wins easily never happen. Oops. Oops. Never happen. 
I, absolutely not. Oh. How can you be a winning team when you don't act like one? Ooh. How can you be a winning team when you don't act oh, like one? Oh, my goodness. You don't act like a championship football team. You guys ain't winning 12 games. The Eagles have moved past the Cowboys in How about drama. this? So, I, I, I have what to I don't get is. I have to give it to him. And I heard John McMullen make a great point on Birds 365 this morning. You know what he said? Everybody was looking you know, good, but Jalen Brown Hurts. Brown Devontae, tight ends. You know, Barkley wasn't really involved in anything because mm -hmm. the run game hasn't been installed yet. Mm -hmm. Pretty much everybody looked pretty good. And the only guy that stunk was Hurts. He's the one struggling. He's the one struggling with the terminology. This team is a joke. Seven to eight wins max. Thank you, Flexen. Wow. Can I tell you, I think this all goes around Sirianni being in the building. You'd never cut the cancer out. Here, I think the owner this is, is unhappy. Flexen, thank you, man. I appreciate that. All Super Chats, by the way, go to the top. Um... I think the owner is not happy with Jalen Hurts. Wow. I think the owner's not. You really think that came from anybody other than Jeffrey Lurie? When wow. he heard him say, hey, I don't know what the guy's role is. I have no idea. Drama. I told you that's a bigger... Hey, somebody leaked that out in the Eagle organization. You know, I heard Xander Goes back and to the uh, John McMullen say, eh, it's a nothing burger. I'm not, not Xander so much. Well, somebody in the Eagle organization wanted people to know that because by the end of Friday, reputable people who cover that team had it on their timeline. And for those guys, remember something. The Eagles don't give the local media shit. They give all the national guys the information. They wanted that out. Just like when they put that stupid-ass video of practicing fumbling drills on a Friday when they fired Sean Desai. Wow. They are a very, very image-conscious organization. I thought he was going to say punk-ass bitches. They are without a doubt conscious image. Every single thing that runs through that organization is all about their image. Oh, my goodness. And how you perceive and how the national people perceive them. <laughs> Probably more so than oh, anyone else is how it. the national people look at the Eagle organization. Oh, he's going to be killing them for the next four Angelo hours. Angelo Cataldi has been dead on with this. Oh, my goodness. And so have we. You guys keep telling me there's some sort of harmony going on. And the Eagle way. Oh, the really? Eagle way. <laughs> how do you think that culture looks now? Your culture's horseshit. Oh you got God. all these great players and no culture. Well, here, let's look some more at the facts. Uh, let's let's get the facts, shall we? Why are they protecting Nick? Why is it so imperative that they're upset with a fifty million dollar franchise quarterback? Fifty one. And Nick, who's on a respirator for his job. I don't give a fuck about Nick Sirianni. I want my quarterback to be happy. <clears throat> Still's happy Father's Day belated. Thank you, brother. Oh. Appreciate it. Don't you guys? Oh, okay. What I, I, I gotta go. Nick oh, is I, I've gotta get this. I've, I've gotta watch more of this. This is this is insane. The Eagles are imploding before our eyes. And this is not just no, listen. Don't don't shoot the messenger, Eagle fans. Deal with the message. Your team is a mess. And I'm going to say right now, the Eagles are better at the Dallas Cowboys in drama. Have a nice day, people. Peace out. Oh, my Lord. I love it. I absolutely, positively love it. Whoo. Um, I, 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 I'm just so, I, I love it. I love, guys, peace. Big Mark Holmes. The son of John Holmes has ever had Stephen Jones on four times on his show? 
Who in the world is Mark Holmes? Will somebody please tell me? My new way, King Dick back here. And so before we start this video, I gotta get this mother humping thing out of the way.